Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Retail investor participation in the markets reaching new heights and euphoria in some cases. The co-founder and CEO of Robinhood, Vlad Tenev, writing an op-ed for CNBC.com out this morning, and it's titled, Becoming an Investor is the New American Dream, just like home ownership was before. I asked Vlad about GameStop, of course, what we've all been talking about, a stock which has now been on a rocket ship as part of this short squeeze, and whether those that are investing in this fully understand what they're investing in. Without commenting on on individual stocks um, and and whether people should or not be investing in them, what I'll say is that um, you know, like many others in the industry, um, we have processes that respond to um, increases in volatility in certain names uh, by by doing things like raising the margin requirements. Um, so so you know we we've done that uh, in lots of cases and. Um, you know, we we were we always remain focused on making sure the system is reliable, that we're investing in stability, making sure we're up for customers when they need us the most, and and that we're investing in customer support. So those remain our two uh, priorities. Um, and other than that, you know, uh, as, as, as you've seen with this market, there's there's things happening, different things happening uh, every week, and. Um, I think we, we have to avoid, you know, um, running our business as if we're responding to, you know, what, what's in the news on a weekly basis and focus on the inputs of making sure that we're a reliable service, that we're investing in stability and that we're uh, investing in support and educating our customers and providing them the tools that they need to make informed trading decisions. But just so the public understands, in the case of something like a GameStop, are you are you raising margin requirements? Do you look at a situation specifically like that and say, you know what, this is this is complicated, and not only is it complicated, we're not sure whether our own customers fully understand the risks involved here. Like other brokerages do, we monitor volatility and we take steps as appropriate, um, like raising the. The margin requirements. Um, I do think it's wrong to assume, though, that most of our activity is characterized by trading of, of volatile stocks. Um, as I've said before, most of our customers are, um, you know, what's called buy and hold. They deposit and buy uh, over the long term. You have seen overall growth in the sector, which means all types of, of customers, from the more active investors as well as the most passive, are have been growing. Um, through 2020, um, and you know, you're, obviously the passive ones don't get as much attention uh, out in the public. Um, mm. But I, I do think if you look at the products we're rolling out, uh, fractional shares, drip, uh, recurring through 2020, these are all intended to help first-time investors and also um, help them on their journey of becoming long-term investors. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.